I have a list of equipment that I want to get for solar visuals at different at different levels of how much money we're making. So you know when we're making this amount of money, then I want to buy this equipment. When we're making this amount of money, and so on. And um, I was talking to this dude about it, and he's like, "Oh, you gotta get a red camera." And people just say that like it's like very mainstream. Like everybody knows what red cameras are, but really. Red cameras aren't even any good. I don't know why everyone loves them so much. I don't know why. It's branding. It's branding is all it is. The only reason why people even use red cameras in the first place is because they have a patented feature, which all cameras before that were able to have. Nobody ever bothered to patent it because they didn't think you could patent this kind of thing, which you really shouldn't be able to. Um, They're a really scummy company for that. They patented internal raw recording in 2006 they did this and uh, the government didn't even know what the hell that was so they accepted the patents and now all other camera manufacturers that want to record internal raw video has to pay red to do that or they can record external raw it's literally illegal for them to do it they are okay. They're all capable of doing it. The Sony A7S III and all stuff, they're all capable of recording internal raw video. They just, it, they're restricted legally from doing that. They literally made it illegal to, to buy a better camera. So now you got to get a Sony A7S III and a, you know, Atomos Ninja 5 or whatever else, you know, Connect a cable, connect to like a, what, what's it called, like an 18 gigabit per second transfer speed uh, HDMI cable or something like that, you know? And then you can record raw video, to 16 bit, whatever, you know, to an external device rather than internally. Problem solved. And now you can get a better camera because red cameras just suck, you know, without that insane advantage of internal raw, which, you know, Sony Venice and all these big cinema cameras also have internal raw recording, um, but that's because they pay red for for the privilege, uh, which is really stupid. And internal raw isn't even useful for ninety percent, ninety nine percent of people. I'm not some like big Hollywood studio. I don't. All I do is shoot music videos. I don't need, you know, the thirty two bit seven hundred megapixel, uh, three hundred fps you know, light field technology just to make my footage look 1% better. I don't care. So yeah, red cameras, waste of money. Just, there's plenty of better cameras. There's plenty of Sony cameras. If you really got red camera money, bro, don't, don't get a Sony Venice. Get an FX6 and then spend that money on a bunch of marketing and stuff like that, you know? And like, Bro, you really, you can't go wrong with, they, they even uh, Netflix recently, I have a FX3 and a A7S3, I have both. The FX3 is approved for Netflix. Like Netflix is, made that one of their approved cameras. Bro, you can literally, the A7S3 has the same internals. You can record on a non-approved uh, uh, so, uh, approved, Netflix approved camera, say it was another camera, and they would never be able to tell the difference. In fact, you could probably do this. You could probably crop sensor it. You could probably literally record on a Sony A sixty four hundred. Say it was a, a, say it was a FX three, or say it was another Panasonic or whatever, and they'd believe you, because it's not like there's any like. Okay. There are differences, but they're so marginal. You really want to get to the differences, you need to go to the very. Um, artistic, like, Fujifilm type of cameras uh, where they have really nice, really unique creative looks to them, right? Really, like, nice color profiles and things like that. Red does not have any kind of creative color profile uh, uh, or it doesn't... The cold, unfeeling, you know, log shooting that all these other cameras do, Red is is on top of the game for that, absolutely. But so is the Sony Venice. 
so is the FX6. Kind of. It doesn't have any any of the, you know, natural out of the camera beauty that something like Fujifilm would be able to do with their with their mirrorless stuff right now. They don't have the sensor technology, low light technology that Sony has. They don't have the all round convenience of Canon. They don't have the color science of Black Magic. They they they're literally getting sued by Nikon right now, for like illegally lying to the government to get a patent that they were never supposed to get, allowing them to create a monopoly on a feature that should be available to everyone. So yeah, I'm not supporting that company. Red, uh, even if they made the best cameras, I wouldn't buy them. I think they're a scummy company. And I don't recommend anybody else buy them either. So that's all I got to say about red. But enough with the ranting. Back to the organization.